In this video, I'm going to be discussing discovering and evaluating sources of existing data. All companies have data. They use data on a daily basis to determine when to order things, uh, what price to sell, things like that. We can identify that information and we want to identify everything they need to manage and organize their business. And once we do that, we can begin to see patterns, see how the data relates to each other, how customer information is used, how sales information is used in inventory, things like that, those relationships. And we can, that can help give us an idea how the data needs to be organized. Also, when we're looking at the data, we need to keep in mind what size of data are we looking at? Is it small amounts of data, large amounts of data? You know, a small mom and pop sh store would use a lot less data than Walmart. In that, we need to decide what DBMS we're going to use, what database management system is adequate for our needs. Things like Oracle and MySQL, they're large database management systems, but also require programming. Microsoft Access is meant for people who are new to databases or smaller companies that use a little bit of information, some mom and pop store, and are just getting into the database business and won't need to know as much programming. When we're discovering these existing sources of data, we look at what data has been duplicated. A lot of times records are repeated. A customer is entered in more than one time. That takes up additional space and we can have inconsistent or inaccurate information. Also leads to data redundancy. The same data that's repeated multiple times. For instance, every time a customer comes and buys something, that customer information is repeated. That customer's name, maybe their phone number, things like that, depending on what information is gathered. And that would be repeated for every sale that customer came in. Now, hopefully your customers re give you repeat business. And we evaluate that, see what the redundancy is, so we can reduce that in a good database management system. And that is how we discover and evaluate sources of existing data.